All right, hello everybody and welcome back to our hillside settlement here. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've been able to post. I apologize for that, but hopefully we can all sort of get reacclimated here. Here's one of the youngsters that has grown up a bit. This is our own Henrik. Hello. Good morning, Henrik. Very nice. Thank you. Witness an animal being captured. Ha. Okay. Do you see him, sir? Sir? Oh. Okay, so we need to run some coin over to pay our taxes. And we need to harvest the rye fields here. Um, after that, I, you know, we mostly just need to kind of run around and see what all is awaiting our, our efforts. Um, I bumped into a really interesting comment online the other day because I was whining about not having my about all the hours that it takes to unlock the mine and somebody said basically you know if you just grind and put all your points into leveling it up you can do it in a couple years and we're in what year 10 I think we're in year 11 already and we don't we're not even close to it so that made me think about all the things that I I spend my time farming, but if I was to just go do a bunch of mining, I bet I would level that up a lot faster. It's definitely a game that rewards what you do versus, um, like, it's not just about your skill tree. Oh, that's a hole in the wall, ceiling. Uh, let's go ahead and craft the, uh, pardon me, thresh this rye. I'm gonna try to, to, to do my best here um, to narrate everything and, and as I normally would, but uh, I am admittedly a tad out of practice since I haven't been able to play for a little while. Oh, I just put all that straw in there and I need some. So if I, if I misspeak a little bit, hopefully you guys can show me a little bit of grace while I get re-acclimated to the game. Let's see if we can find some jobs around here. Look at all the kids. Four kids out playing. Got our fruit trees looking nice. Boy, that one's really stout looking. How many pigs do we have? We got two outside and one two and a baby inside so five pigs we're looking at the two adult sheep in there and then oh maybe that's one of the adult sheep so the little one grew up two rams and then the female sheep and I know I should get the manure but for right now calves looking good uh, so this tree is this gonna turn into a big tree I don't know yet it's been it's been a uh, seedling for a while so maybe it won't I don't know all right so that's looking good everybody there's looking nice Animals seem to be growing nicely. Oh, that, oh, that is berries. But we're in spring, so it'll pick them as green berries. So we'll leave them for now. Go ahead and get these out of the way here. I think it was in the last episode that I updated this storage. So it looks nice now as the level two. This whole little complex looking thing here with the woodshed I mean the pardon me the workshop and resource storage 
I think that came out looking pretty cool. Probably not super medieval, but. All right, we'll go ahead and see if any of this needs to be repaired. Looking good there, looking good here. Uh, maybe the herbalist hut over here could use some love. Get that done, all right. And I think I still have some straw left. For the donkey shelter. And then we'll check these houses. I think they're good because they're all more advanced materials, so they don't deteriorate very fast anymore. I don't know how old. Oh my, we got more more goats. How many do we have now? It looks like seven, maybe eight. Oh, that's perfect. Very nice. That's awesome. That's actually super exciting. So let's go ahead and look in here. We can look in the management tab. So we have 10 chickens. Might be time to sell off one or two of those. We have five pigs. Wow, one old male and no young male hogs. Interesting. And we have four sheep. Okay, I wasn't crazy. There was a lamb somewhere there. Seven goats. Oh, so these two twin boys. Very cool. And we have three calves. I mean, three cows. And then just our one. Oh, boy. The donkey's eight and three quarters. Hmm. That donkey might not last forever. So I don't know if I should. Yeah, I'll probably just buy a new one. Or tear that down and build a horse stable. So, all right. Well, that's exciting. Good stuff. We could make some animal feed. I also need to deal with uh, all the extra food that we have. I mean, at the end of the day, what I could do is just let it rot, right? I could just let it rot and then. Um, deal with the rot instead of trying to manage the rot since we have plenty of manure coming in we don't really need to manage the rot we need 500 of these Boom. and then we will make 100 animal feed I know a lot of these tasks you've seen already so some of you are like you know why do you keep doing the same things over and over? But the main reason is because it needs to be done. Uh, similar tasks do need to be done over and over. But I think we'll hop on, the, I'll put these this animal feed up here, and then we'll hop on the donkey and ride over to Gostovia. In the meantime, I wanted to check, oh, we had some animal feed in here, that's good. I wanted to check for finished goods in here. Uh, we could take maybe, let's go ahead and take a hundred flaxseed with us. And then, is there anything else crafted in here? Take those two tunics. All right. We'll run down to the, I guess I could call it the export bin. Uh, how's the donkey feet? Okay, 68%. That's not bad at all. I must have filled that up recently. I don't know how much they eat, like different animals eat per day, per season. So let's go down here. If our primary S X export are things from the the clothing items that's not too bad I think that could work not super heavy so we have 10 simple linen shirts in here okay and two tunics and a hundred flaxseed that, that should get us a little bit of money 
we'll go do that and pay the taxes and do I want to buy trees for this orchard nah I, I think we'll just wait and see if we can find um, seedlings on the side of the road we're doing okay financially so there, there might come a time that I just say heck with it and buy them but we still travel around enough that it's possible to find them Once we get this done, I, d I don't really know what else we're going to do with this season. Probably not a lot, to be honest. Probably not a lot. We got our missions done, so we're mostly just waiting for whatever it is, six, seven more years till Henrik is... No, it's going to be probably ten more years till Henrik is old enough to... Uh, do a bunch of stuff. Does he... What are you doing? Praying? Lecturing? Talking? Alright. We can sell... I do have half a mind to buy another cow. Not right now, but... They're 4,200. Alright. Good to know. Treating you. Ah, that's pretty Whatever good. You need, I've got it. So you have 1,200, huh? How, how do you feel about... Ten shirts. Feel pretty good about that, I guess. Goodbye. I don't know what you're gonna do with ten shirts, but you're good to go now. And how about you? Do you want some flaxseed? Hey, friend. Best goods in the valley. Best goods in the valley. Six hundred for the flaxseed, and then. Five sixty-four for Goodbye. those two tunics. Goodbye. Now we need to pay taxes. All right. So we're down to thirty-six hundred. Just out of sheer well, curiosity. Me. Let me show you my wares. Okay, two fifty-two. 210 we could do hops but it's going to be so long before we need the hops that I don't really feel like doing that plums are 224 yeah, well. I'm going to wait and try to find some Although I do think I'm going to go, instead of riding home the same way we came, I'm going to go around a little bit. I've been contemplating uh, adding just a few more houses at our village. Oh, this overturned carts not here this time bummer dude do we see anything on the shore I don't hmm. okay I've been contemplating adding a few more houses just because I feel like we could use a few more laborers who are steady in their positions. I didn't check management lately. Um, we've got these kids who can't do anything yet. And we've got two women, three women who are mothers right now, which takes them out of the workforce. But the 
thing is, a few of these houses are full, which means that they won't have any more children. Uh, one is ours, but like these two are full, and these two are full, so they won't have any more children. So that's that's good, but I've been thinking and we've got these two things I'm we've got that flat ground down by the water. So I've been trying to figure out what to put down there and we have you know a need for housing if we want to get more people in. But I said from day 1 that I don't want this to be, you know, like a lot of times what happens when people play Medieval Dynasty is that they just keep building, 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 building. It's like the addictive, fun part of the game is to build more stuff. But if you do that and you don't scale properly, you end up with problems that, uh, like providing for your people. So... But like down along there, you see what I mean? Down along there, we could definitely put, I was thinking about maybe putting a hut in for Roland to live down there. And then we would have a, a house here to invite another couple in. So, I don't know. Every family we add now though, the one thing that I like demographically about where we're at right now, we've got a bunch of people in their like 30s Roland is 40 so if we brought in a new like young couple who's like 19 and 20 something like that they would have another batch of children when these kids are a little bit older so that hopefully we could have a nice steady flow because I don't want our people to all be old at the same time and I don't want our people to if we wait too long, then the kids will be having kids, right? So probably another year or two, it does make sense to bring in maybe like two or three families. So we could build, we could build a couple houses down along the water and we could build a couple up here. I've been wanting to do that all along, which I figured this would be where we would build like the kids houses the kids of our existing families like one here one here something like that but all in due time so now that we have our uh, taxes paid and some of our basic maintenance done i will probably help bolomira with some of the spring planting and i'll bring you guys back at the end of the season all right, as per usual, uh, here we have a, a really rainy day for our second day of spring, but I came up with an idea. I thought I'd bring you guys along for my idea, if I can get a drink here real quick. Uh, and that idea is to uh, come into this workshop and make some clay vases. So, I think we can do that here. Clay vase, yes. So it's 300 to buy the scheme. And we need three clay to make them. So I brought over 20 just in case. So let's make five vases. Go ahead and spin those up. I don't know how much production this gets us, but every little bit, right? And then we're going to take these clay vases over to the herbalist hut, which I never do this. I, I didn't do this on my first playthrough at all, but I thought, hey, you know what? Let's maybe see about um, oh, maybe I'm in the wrong place. I thought this was where you make pots with no. Okay. That must be in the workshop where we just were. Sorry about that. Maybe it's here? No, maybe it's here. Here we go. Vases, clay vase 
with daisies, dandelions, henbane, and okay, clay vase with St. John's wart is 100. And let's go ahead and make all five of these clay vases with St. John's wart. And now, um, I'm gonna put one in our house, but then I'm gonna see about I don't, maybe I need to go ahead and build the shelf first. Decorate, decorate. I, this is always tricky to me. I think it's, no, it's not that menu. It It's this E menu. But it's not letting me decorate. Oh, I'm it. Okay, sorry about that. That was my fault. I needed to tell it that I wanted to decorate the wall. Yes. So, what I was thinking is maybe we could put. Like, uh, do this simple wooden shelf. So we need a plank and a log, and then we can put the vase on that, I hope. So plank and a log. I might just grab a few. Pardon me, sir, if I could be so bold. Uh, yeah, two. All right, let's go. So now when we come in here, we should don't hit your head when you get up from the bed, right? But we should be able to do a wooden shelf there. And now I should be able to go into my inventory. Do I need to put this like here? How do I get that into my hands? If it won't let me put them Maybe they're just to sell. I thought I could place them, you know, kind of the way that, like, uh, that's a bad example. Kind of the way that if I, yeah, I don't have the stuff to do these things, but like this, I can just place this wicker basket. Um, like, will it let me, yeah, it won't let me place that in the house. But, you know, I can place the wicker basket, boom, right here. I thought that's how it was going to be for the clay pot. But I guess I'm wrong. So, I, if I'm wrong, I mean, if anybody watching the video knows how to do that and you want to correct me, please do. I'd love to get that right. Um, oh. I thought we had 180 flatbread. I was going to be like, what? All right, meat with gravy. Let's go ahead and eat. I don't really want to eat poison stuff. Let's go with these three roasted meat for now. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave at least this section here. I might come back uh, before the end of the episode, but this rain is 
something special. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Alrighty, I told you I'd bring you back. I th well, I told you I might bring you back. And I ended up going ahead with the plan to build Roland a little shack down here right by his workplace. So he'll have pretty much a zero commute to uh, get to work. And I'm contemplating whether I want to give him a, a path or not. I think what I might do is make a path from here down to the dock, just so, you know, that looks nice. But I'm not going to make one up to the main road. Sorry about that. I want to move Roland, who's down here. We want to move him to his brand new house. And I think, I don't know this for sure, but I think I can... Can we not name them? I wanted to name this Roland's house, but I don't think we can do that. So I wanted to show you I got that built. Uh, I may upgrade his home later, but for now we'll put him there. And as we go about our travels in the next few seasons, I will be sure to try to recruit us one more little family uh, up in what is now Roland's former house uh, in the main part of town. But if you look here, uh, things are, are shaping up nicely. We've got livestock down here, fields in the middle, and uh, plenty of buildings. And we've got some that are already winterized I guess insulated and a few others that are not I, I think we probably want to get going with some shutters soon decorate yeah so these basic wood shutters really not too bad um, six planks and two logs for each one and that would really clean up the appearance these ones are a thousand to unlock and then they require iron bars which we don't have and those require even more iron bars so these would be the ones we would go with here um, and we have quite a few houses so that would be an involved project we're getting pretty low on logs again uh, so that that's another thing that we need to address with our labor situation, for whatever reason, we cannot keep logs in. So that'd be under extraction. Uh, we have one person working in, Dalagor is working in Woodshed too, but maybe we move somebody over from the excavation shed. Uh, maybe we move Wolstan. Something like that. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and move Wolstan. So that'll get our, over time, we'll get our logs back up. But not a whole lot else to report here about the town. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting another town building here in this middle section. Maybe put some decorations or something in here because it's feeling a little, a little peaked. Feels a little like it's doesn't fit the rest of the aesthetic. But I think it's coming along. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series. If you are, you know, leave a leave a like and a comment. Let me know that you're still having fun. I know I sure am, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot of that because it looks nice. You never know when you're going to need some extra shots. I should take a picture of all these goats, man. It's awesome. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.